thrust into the tank tonight, a young entrepreneur with serious designs on becoming the next Richard Branson. I'm Mick Spencer, I'm 25 and I'm from Canberra. January 2016, guys, we get refreshed from holidays straight back in. I don't know any better than to have a big life since I was a kid. Even at 12, I was washing windows, I was going to garage sales, buying stuff, selling it online. Dad gave me his old little garage area and that was where it all began. Nick's got an inherited eye condition, which is extreme short-sightedness and night blindness. And he had glasses when he was seven months of age. He was pretty heavily bullied as a young kid because he was, he was the fat kid with the thick glasses at school. And that broke our hearts, you know, and that turned him into a bit of an introvert. Looking back on it now, having been born with severe short-sighted eyesight, it's all a part of the DNA it creates to go out into the world and, and build your own life. So how's the prep going, Mick? Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, good. And then as I got older, I realised I wanted to get into sport, realised I wanted to get into making a difference and to build a business. And mixing all those three key passions of mine, I was, you know, I was able to get into what I did. And I'm really excited. I'm going to learn a lot off the Sharks. And if they were to invest, there's a massive opportunity for the brand to be exposed to people who, you know, may not have been to before. And so fingers crossed. Sharks. My name is Mick Spencer and I'm the founder and managing director of On The Go Sports. I'm here asking for $300,000 investment for a 10% equity stake in my company. Four years ago, a sports event came to me with a really big problem. They'd pre-sold 400 cycling jerseys and needed them in less than three weeks because a staff member had left without ordering them. Problem was, no manufacturer in the world could do it in less than 10. I promised to deliver and found a way. And when I did, I uncovered an even bigger problem. Retailers, businesses, teams, schools all around the world had a growing demand for custom-made sportswear fast. But it was always a challenging process. In 2011, with the $150 to my name, I dropped out of university and founded On The Go Sports. Today, we allow customers globally to design their own sportswear beyond what they ever thought was possible. The system that actually created these products is this innovative customised station. Users design their own product online. So um, we've got a soccer jersey up here so people can uh, choose a product. They can change colours, upload their logos. That's great. On The Go is now poised to revolutionise the clothing industry and we're set to become the next big global player in this $200 billion industry. Customers like Ironman, Anytime Fitness, GoPro, national sporting bodies, Olympic teams, all use On The Go product, along with another 3,500 organisations and growing every day. We've had the likes of Sir Richard Branson in our gear. We're growing at over 80% and this year we're set to turn over 1.6 million. So, sorry, Mick, I'm Steve. Whereabouts are you from, mate? I'm from Canberra. Yeah, oof, don't so, often hear that. Big country yeah. town. And, and so, um, 1.6 mil, what's your cost of goods on that? Well, so last year we had a gross margin of 58%. And uh, this, this financial year ahead, we're, we're, we're targeting the same gross margin. What are your other costs? Yeah, sure. So last year we actually rented a small loss. Last year we had a lot of development in our systems. Uh, this year ahead is our, is our first year of profitability forecasted. And you're a good few months in. Are you any reason to believe you're not going to make that? or? Um, we have a pipeline of about $4 million right now. With that pipeline, we've forecasted our average reorder percentages. We've also looked at our current contracts, what they're worth. We're budgeting to turn over $1.6 million okay, this right. year. All right, so it's about a 40%. Okay, that's cool. No, that's a good answer. Yeah, and we're in some understand. final due diligence negotiations right now with Australia's largest sporting governing body, which will be guaranteed a $1 million in sales a year. We're in discussions with it. Well, very... and when you say discussions? So tender process, um, got through from 15 suppliers to five, got yep. through from five to two, yep. and in final negotiations now and on what the partnership. when will you hear out about that? Any day at the, as we speak. Right, so, so is it Australian-based companies you're competing with or are you playing global stage? With a tender like what we are in talks at the moment with the Sports Commission, it's global players. How old are you, mate? Just turned 25. 
Mick, you're, uh, you're impressive. You really uh, got the business on a roll. This is a company that started in my parents' garage. We've gotten the business to where it is, but to get it from the business we are today to be doing 25 million in 2020, 100 million in 2025, it's... 100 million in 2025. I like someone with a big goal. Yeah, so. big, hairy, audacious goal. That's it, mate. So Mick, it is so competitive out there. What is the X factor that you have that's winning these contracts? So the biggest thing is speed of delivery. So many of the really big players have really heavy supply chains. That adds time. We're essentially factory direct to customer. We haven't even scratched the surface uh, of where, where this company can go. I think it's... you'll be mentoring a lot of other people soon, the way you're going. Done an incredible amount in 25 years. Thanks. You're going to succeed. You are. You just are, because you'll make you'll make shit. And I can only go on history and where you are today, not on blue sky. And you've got some amazing blue skies. You've got some great things in the pipeline and great maybes, phenomenal maybes. But right now, the fact is, you've got two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars in profit. So that's the only thing I can go go on by, because that's real. But I'd like to make you an offer based on, on, on fact and what you've got, not what maybe, could be, would be. So what I'd like to offer you is your $300,000, but I want 20%. Thanks, thanks for the offer. You've, you've got a bigger, bigger vision here, haven't you? I mean, you've seen a $200 billion industry and you want a large chunk of that by the sound of it. I mean, I'll be totally honest with you, I want to, I want to, you know, die one day having excelled a billion dollar company. All right, I'll go and bottom feed with Janine, then I'll offer you the same thing as Janine. 300 grand for the 20%. All right, I'll join their offers, 300,000, 20%. Mick, I, I love your business. You know, you're inspiring, you're focused, you're passionate. My big concern is I'm really worried about the fact that you are in an incredibly competitive environment and you're a player coming out of Australia up against some very, very big, hairy guys. I'm looking at your valuation and I'm going, I'm happy to sit this one out. So, well done. Keep going hard, but for me, I'm out. Thank you very, very much. I am in a quandary because I think that uh, you're very investable and your enthusiasm and passion is wonderful. But I think you've got all the heads you need. I'm sure we could promote your product. But for this deal, I'm out. No problems, thank you. So you've got three offers at 300,000 to 20%, all exactly the same. Mick, I think uh, they're playing pretty passive here. Same offer, 300,000 for 20%. Well, we all offer different things. You've got to make a yeah, call. Yeah, let's hear all. it. Start, start with Steve. I think, you know, you're one of, one of my, you know, massive aspirations in, in the tech industry. Look, the one thing that's kind of against you is the fact you don't have a great deal of in-house tech. But there's companies who succeed without that, and you seem to be one of those, which is great. Yeah. You are going to need more cash. You have this amazing aspirational goal, which I think you can hit. Yeah. Look, I'm basically a common sense businesswoman. I'm not going to be the person that tells you how to get into the right apparel area because that's not my gig. But I think that common sense approach and that targeted marketing is certainly where my strength lies. Yeah, definitely. You're really in the B2B business. I've spent the last 35 years in business to business. I've been in the online business. I know how to drive traffic. But I don't live here. I spend a lot of time traveling, so you won't see much of me. But I, I've always believed there's 24 hours in a day. Um, that's my pitch. So Mick, can I just give you a quick pitch on their behalf? Any of those sharks are going to help you on your journey. The offer's the same. Sure. So if you, if you don't mind, what I'd, what I'd like to do is make a quick call to my CFO. Go ahead. If that's, if that's okay. Go make a call, Mick. James, Mick, how are you going? Not bad, how are you? Good, mate, good. Look, uh, in a bit of a bit of a shark fight at the moment. So, really? That's incredible. And I think that there's a, a chance I can go back to them with a counter offer. What an amazing bloke. No, he is, mate. 25. He says Jeez. all the bits. He's going to try and get us all in for 15%. It's not enough. No. Thanks, mate. Good luck.
So guys, I've had a, had a good chat with my CFO and uh, we, we all think, you know, you guys are all of massive value. So I'd like to, like to make you guys an offer. I'd like to see whether all three of you would want to work together and be involved in this deal. Uh, and I would, I would do that in exchange of 15% equity. So it's 100k each for um, uh, five 100k terms. each in exchange for 15%. There's a significant chunk for each and every one of you. 5%. Not a lot of skin in the game, is it? 5% five, 5 is 5%. Is 5% 5 of a $100 million company is a bit. $20 million company is a bit compared to where we are right now. Mick will do a deal right now if it's 600 for 35%. Between the three of us. It's your final offer. Was it a final offer? It's a final offer. So 600,000 for 35%. 35%. For 35%. Really, it does value the business at a higher multiple than really where it should be right now, today. I think 30% for 600,000 at a company that's poised for massive things is poised. great. Poised, you've got to prove it. It's not proven yet. I really am stuck on 30%. If you guys can each come in for 200K, equaling 600,000 for 30%. What about 33%, 11% each? Ten percent each is just a beautiful figure. <laughs> I, I'm not talking on their behalf. I'm only going to look at them because I'm going to get death rays. I'm happy to do the 30 per cent for the for the 600 for the three of us. Steve, you need to have a quiet chat to the hard woman beside you. Well, no, no, because I'm, I'm getting laser death stares in my skull, saying, "What are you yeah. doing?" You need to convince them, mate. I'm I'm with you. What do you want to do? You're the smartest person in the room, you tell me. It's overvalued with that. I can't with Steve. Are you, are you in? Yeah, I've got to be, I guess. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Right. You did a good job. Thank you showed you, you showed your metal today as well. Thank you. Thank so you. if you run your business that well, we're well, all yeah, going to make I mean, a lot of money. Yeah, I think uh, that's awesome. Well done. Stoked, Stoked, guys. Guys. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Mick. Mick, you got a deal. Yeah, feeling really excited right now. I'm, I'm just happy to have negotiated them down to something that was on my terms. High five, guys. We are not going to lose. No, no, no. That's no. a goodie. Yeah. No, it's just well done. A, yeah, yeah, I think it's a good deal.